There are 16 different varieties right here in front of me of vegetables that mature within 60 days or fewer. Guten Yardening, everybody! Today I want to take you into the mind of a Guten Yardener. There was a fairly famous TV show that used to say space was the final frontier. But unfortunately for us, we don't have a lot of that final frontier outside. So we have to be very careful when it comes to both time and space in order to maximize what we're getting out of our garden. When we're trying to grow 365 days a year and feed our family all the fresh produce we could possibly need, there's so much planning that goes into it. And today I wanna to talk to you about a little bit of that planning and what that looks like from our perspective. But first I wanna welcome any viewers who might be new to our channel, who aren't yet members of our community. It's great to have you here and we hope you enjoy this video. And the second thing I want to do is encourage you, if you haven't already got your seeds in order or ordered your seeds, to make sure that you do that now as opposed to waiting till later. From what we can already see, there are going to be a lot of seed places out of stock pretty early on. A lot of people are still in this gardening kick where they're starting to realize the benefit of growing their own produce and you don't want to be caught out without the ability to get the seeds that you need. In a recent video, we talked about the shelf lives of seeds. And so it's very possible to get seeds now for next season or even the season after that without worrying that they'll go bad. So piece of advice, go ahead and get your seeds ready to go. Planting a garden goes far beyond simply going online or going into a catalog, picking out seeds that you think look interesting, that you might want to eat, throwing them in the ground, leaving them and everything's great especially if you have limited space and a limited growing season as we do here in zone five. As an urban gardener with less than a quarter acre of space, including our house, we have to make sure that the vegetables we put in the ground are going to be ones that we enjoy, that our family wants to eat, but that also grow in a timely manner. Every vegetable is different in terms of time to maturity. And so if we're trying to feed our family 365 days a year from what we're growing either outdoors or indoors, we have to pay attention to those maturity dates on our plants. And there are quite a few varieties out there that have quicker, more rapid maturity dates that enable us to plant successively so we can maximize our space outside, begin harvesting early in the season. When you're waiting to feed your family, especially if you're just getting started in this process, three plus months can seem like an eternity. Today I'm going to show you a bunch of different varieties of seeds from our most recent seed haul that I think you're going to find are not only delicious varieties, but ones that are quick growing under 60 days. Every single variety that I'm going to show you today is on the fast end of maturity and it's going to be a fantastic way to get your garden started so you're not waiting months down the road for your family to eat some of these delicious vegetables. The fruits and vegetables I'm going to show you are absolutely staples in our garden. And again, every single one of these grows to maturity within the first 60 days, many of them within the first month. Now consider this, tomatoes take typically 50 to 85 days to mature. And a lot of times what you buy, if you're buying the plants or seedlings, however you start out your tomatoes, oftentimes those are indeterminate. We have two varieties here. One is an indeterminate variety and the other is a determinate variety. Our determinate variety, which is called the organic 42 days tomato, grows to maturity in, you guessed it, 42 days. Because this is a determinate variety, we're looking at somewhere in the neighborhood of about 24 to 30 inches tall total. So this is a compact tomato. It's supposed to be incredibly tasty, a cherry sized tomato that you can enjoy in a smaller or compact space just like ours. Again, in 42 days, just over a month. The second variety that we purchased as well though is an indeterminate variety, which means it will get bigger. But again, we're talking about tomatoes within 57 days. So if you're starting indoors, for example, if you're starting your seeds indoors, you're going to be starting them soon, you're looking at probably once you get them outside, a matter of a month, a month and a half before you're already harvesting tomatoes. 
Beans are one of those dynamic elements that you can add to your garden that makes a huge difference when it comes to production, especially if you love to can beans. I think I grew up on canned beans. Um, our personal preference is bush beans versus pole beans. We prefer the bush beans. They tend to have, in my opinion, a better taste. And we have two beans here that we purchased. Both of them are bush beans. One of them is called the Contender, and the other one is called the Goldenrod. So the Goldenrod's a nice bright yellow. So we'll get some different color here, but these are both buttery, delicious varieties, one of which grows to maturity in 40 days. So we're talking five weeks, five to six weeks of time, and you're gonna have fresh bush beans. So if you plant this early season, if you pay attention to your last frost date and you're able to get out there, put these in the ground as soon as the ground is workable and these beans start to grow, a month and a half later, you're already going to be harvesting. And if you have enough planted, you're gonna be able to can early on and then plant successive plantings, depending on your location. We're certainly growing leafy greens inside right now, but when it comes to early spring, leafy greens are a must. In the fall, we grew a bunch of leafy greens in a hay bale. We had our hay bale salad bar, but leafy greens make a huge difference if you think about the daily salad or daily nutritional intake that you want to add to your diet. And one of the nice things about leafy greens, like our lettuces, our spinaches, etc., is that they tend to be on the faster side of growth, faster to maturity. Here we have a beautiful new red fire lettuce, some heirloom cutting mix lettuce, and some seaside hybrid spinach, all of which are going to mature within the first month, 29 to 30 days. One month, and we can have our own personal salad bar depending on how we plant this. And again, this type of vegetable loves that cooler weather. All of these are bolt resistant, which means that even though you'll probably get some of those really nice hot days that they don't love as much, they'll hold off on bolting. These varieties can also all be grown as cut and come again, meaning that you can go out, harvest some of it, allow it to grow back, harvest more. So you can always be picking at different parts in the garden and feeding your family regularly from the same plants, all in a month. One of the things that we want to make sure that we do when we're planting and deciding on our garden and our garden space is to grow things that not only we as the parents like, because we have different taste buds than our children, we want to grow things that our children will love that are also extremely healthy. We've grown our Pac-Man hybrid broccoli before, which is a 50 to 55 day broccoli, so under two months. But what we haven't tried are these Napoli hybrid carrots, which are 45 to 60 days. We've had some carrots in the ground for three months and they've provided just a little for us. If we're able to know what our production is going to be in less than two months for these carrots, in 45 days, we know our production. Carrots are one of those vegetables that grow great far into the season, far into the fall. They love that cool weather. In fact, this Napoli hybrid is supposed to be even sweeter when it gets into that cool weather. But if we can see results from this early on, if we plant it early on in the season, then that means we'll have, again, successive planting, and we know our children love these carrots as much as we do. I almost said as much as they love us. I don't think that's true. And on top of that, one of the things that we've been saying we want to do is to grow more cucumbers. We had a miserable time this past year trying to grow cucumbers. And here we have an artist hybrid pickling cucumber, which is something we want to try to do as well. We want to try to create pickles this year. And this is a 45 day variety. So one of the additional benefits of growing these vegetables that are under 60 days is even if you have a shorter growing season, ours is about 100, 110 to 115 days. If you have a shorter growing season, you can experiment with these, you can grow them, see the results, and you won't have wasted the entire season if they don't bear the kind of fruit that you expect. And along those lines, up until the squash vine borer came late in the summer, we had better luck with our summer squash than we have had in the past. I don't know why summer squash has been difficult for us. For a lot of people, that's like your go-to. Zucchini, summer squash, that's the go-to. That's supposed to be the easiest vegetable to grow. 
But for us, we've legitimately struggled with production, with powdery mildew, a bunch of other issues. And so one thing we don't want to do is grow a variety that's going to take 75, 85 days, especially if we're trying to, again, feed our family early on and make sure that we're going to get a legitimately good harvest out of what we've planted. And so we found two varieties that are going to show us their potential before we get even halfway through our growing season. We have an easy pick gold to hybrid, which is 45 to 50 days growth. And you're not gonna believe this. A green griller hybrid, which is perfect for grilling, so they say, that's ready in 38 days. A little over a month to some delicious summer squash perfect right in time as that grilling weather approaches absolutely perfect as i'm showing you all of these seeds from this latest haul i do want to point out that we're not saying that you need to buy through jungseed.com or anything like that most of these varieties you'll find elsewhere and i'm sure you can get a hold of them but what we are saying is a little bit of searching brought us to a place where we have these really quick growing vegetables that we want to put in the ground early on so that we're feeding our family right away. And that's something that we think you can find as well. Plants like this okra that's 60 days or less, or this kohlrabi variety. And when we plant kohlrabi, they're pretty quick growing brassicas anyway. They're usually, I don't know, 50 to 70 days. This variety takes 37 days to get to maturity. 37 days for a mature kohlrabi that's two to three inches in diameter. And one of the cool things when we read up about this particular variety of kohlrabi is they said that it maintains itself in the ground for a long time without becoming woody, which is one of the concerns you have when you're growing kohlrabi, depending on the variety. Now our focus on the seeds that I've shown you today is all about time and it's about space. Some of these determinate or bush varieties provide nice compact examples of vegetables that you can plant just about anywhere that are not going to take up a ton of space, but that are going to be very productive. But we did throw in one variety, it's still 60 days, that's going to take up a little bit more space, but it's a whole lot of fun. This is our Sweet Beauty Hybrid Watermelon, and the vines on this grow about nine feet. So that's something you might want to keep in mind when you plant it. But having fresh watermelon after 60 days, you can't go wrong, right? There are 16 different varieties right here in front of me of vegetables that mature within 60 days or fewer. And many of these varieties mature within 30 days. So if you're looking to start out your garden strong, to feed your family quickly from the fresh produce that you're growing outside, well, I don't think you can go wrong with these types of vegetables. This is just another step in the journey of planning your garden that's going to result in a happier, healthy garden that your entire family can enjoy. We hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, don't forget to give us a like, leave us a comment, remember to share and subscribe. We want to encourage as many of you as possible to join us as we head toward feeding our family from our garden 365 days a year. And remember, when you're with us, you are good to grow.